Recently I asked on my Instagram if anyone had any gardening questions or problems that they wanted me to answer. We had a question come in from Michael and he asked, do I have to deal with pests often? If so, how? Now I consider myself to be quite lucky. I'm not really dealing with too many pests at this current time, just the aphids and the white cabbage moths, but trust me, they can be pretty destructive. Now, if you're not familiar with the aphids, basically the best way to describe them is they're just little plant lice. They're tiny, tiny little insects that like to suck the life out of your plants. And if you're not familiar with the white cabbage moths, well, they can be seen in the garden and they're quite pretty fluttering around, but what they're doing is they're laying eggs on the undersides of your leaves, such as your broccoli, your cauliflower, just to name a few, and from those eggs hatch really, really hungry, hungry caterpillars. And if you're lucky, or I should say not so lucky, those caterpillars can uh, eat a whole plant in the night if you let them. Now my tip for aphids is one that I learnt from a book I'm currently reading called Backyard Self-Sufficiency by Jackie French, and she uses a toothbrush to get rid of insects. Uh, it's basically just by brushing them off the leaves, and I thought that was such a great idea that I had to share. Now if you see ladybugs or lady beetles hanging around your aphids, that's a good sign. The ladybugs actually eat the aphids, that's a food source for them, so make sure you keep those around. Personally, I find though that the ladybugs don't actually eat enough of the aphids and the aphids just reproduce really quickly, so just keep an eye on that. And in some instances where my plants look like they're about to die because the aphids have just taken over, I have used this pest oil in the past and it has completely wiped them out. I don't know what the best option is, but this is what I've been using. Let me know if you have a better option in the comments as well. For the caterpillars that hatch out of the eggs that the white cabbage moth lay, basically what I do is I just go around and pick them off. Uh, every few days and it seems to be working for me in my small scale garden. I can't come to kill the caterpillars by squishing them so what I've been doing is actually been taking them over to my bird feeder and putting them down and wishing them luck. Now if just going around and picking them off isn't going to work for you, you could put in some fake white cabbage moths that deter the cabbage moths from hanging out so you just kind of make them out of, I don't know, netting or whatever you have around the house. I'm sure there's many videos on that how to make those. And if it gets way too much and it's just, they're out of control, you're going to need some netting. A lot of people also have to deal with the slugs and the snails. Now personally, I don't have to deal with those as much. There's a few hanging around, but nothing for me to have to worry about. And I can't help for your whole garden, unless you get some ducks. I've heard ducks are really good for slugs and snails, but I can help with this little tip, and that is using hanging baskets to grow some of those leafy greens that they make target. So yeah, they're, they're way above the ground, and I would be very surprised if they managed to get up there. So that is a tip for slugs and snails. For bigger animals such as rats, cats, or possums, have a Google and see what plants that they don't like. For example, possums really don't like mint, they don't apparently like daisies, so Maybe you're looking at planting some of those things in between your veggies, although mint, probably best to keep in a pot, but some other of those plants, plant in between your veggies uh, and hopefully that might help you in your garden. Let me know if you have any other tips by commenting for myself to read and for everyone else to read as well. That's about it for my little uh, pest video. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. Thank you.